We're back. It can be said that I could not... I would lose my own ass were it not secured firmly to the bottom of my torso. Mm. Pretty sure Sisyphus can get rid of that one. <laughs> okay, Torn Elemental isn't like a, 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 a constructed card. No. It's just like a limited bomb. It's it's Dongler, but worse. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, not eight mana on the activation, but... All the you formats reach on the side like, won't. Clone Legion would be a good card <laughs> in Rise of the Eldrazi. Ooh, God. Oh, man. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Because then he would actually be able to cast it. Well, like, it would have a downside, too, because it wouldn't copy the level up counters. So, like, it wouldn't be just a flat, like, wabam against well, it everybody. Would, it would secretly be cheaper because he would get a bunch of Eldrazi spawn from it. Unless your opponent was like, uh, sacrifice all my Eldrazi spawn. Yeah. I mean, which would be reasonable. It would yep. be reasonable, but then your card is also just destroying their Eldrazi spawn. It's like, yeah, it would be a, that's a, a set where it would be good. If you could, it would be good in Invasion. I, I, I just like the idea of it in Rise. There's a lot of interactions there. You you uh you clone Legion to copy their uh well you clone Legion when you're in like the blue red deck with the recursion pieces. Oh jeez. Where you're just well, like. Wait. You put the tokens into play. Oh right? my god! Clone Legion, get your mnemonic wall. Yeah, yeah, that's what so I was thinking. Clone, <laughs> clone Legion, steal everybody's level up guys. And their venerated steal, teacher. And their venerated teachers. And your venerated teacher or whatever, and then be like, do do do. Oh no, a bot. Oh, we're, we're fighting one of the card. Oh no, bots? milk steak. No, milk steak. How good are the card bots at this? I don't know. Ah, they're doing it to pick value. Mm, <laughs> they just go down their list and pick the most valuable card. There's some good names in this in this draft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, Planeswalkers. I would dig having a Planeswalker. I would, too. Ooh, Don't pick that city. It's not foil. It's good, though. It's like, not foil, though. Whenever we pick a Sidisi, it has to be good. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. Discounting Sidisi. I'm seeing Dragon Fodder, Silk Wrap. Uh, Got one. Feckless Imp, Bowmasters. Ooh, Bowmasters. Yeah. <laughs> So it looks like every car color has a card that. Red is a little bit weaker, I think, than the others. Or no, blue is the is the actual weakest. But red and red and blue are weaker. Black is, we're picking the strong black card. Inox survivalist usually, I mean, very often has a target in this format. Not always. What an underwhelming pack, really. I mean, we have a rare, and that's happy, you know. Yeah. No, this is great. We pick up, we pick the good card in the pack, and then force everyone else to pick a bad card. Cool. And then can we get Shambling Goblin back? Yeah, we get Shambling Goblin back. Or, or Feckless. Who has the vampire eyes? <laughs> Ooh, can we make use of Minister of Pain? Hmm. I I like Minister of Pain. I like the green here. Yep, the green is good. Ujitai Interceptor is actually a choice. Yeah. Maybe put us in the black exploit plan. Oh, we do it. Sort of paint kind of already has that. Yeah, without it's... us. I'm sad that we didn't get to cast X Men in the last. Draft. I know we even picked it, and it was great. And I guess so. Wh so what are you thinking, both of you? <clears throat> yeah. I kind of like Interceptor, but I, I'm fine with any of the other picks. I don't know. I don't. I don't like anything here all that much. Then just maybe stick on color. Yeah. Mister yeah, yeah, Pants, a good card. Like this card does work. Like I like I said, the the green and the blue are the two colors I think are strong there. But uh, stick on, stay on target. You know. We've got defeat to stay on target. Ah, the removal pack. Mm-hmm. Enduring victory. 
reduced in stature. Wow. Yeah, your, your choice of janky removal, tail slash during victory, defeat, reduced in stature. Heck. Mm. Heck. Do we want like, defeat? Do we want tail slash? Defeat does hmm. kill morphs. Defeat kills morphs. Red black is the strongest color combination. <laughs> But we would have to get the red for that to work. Mm. Great. We're not only, great. Only three picks in. Yeah. Like, I like six Hold on. colors now. Make us really open to something truly. Okay. Okay. Eight. We can we can we can implement the plan now. But picking a lot of picks while I'm not here. I'm here. I'm just <laughs> muting my mic so you don't hear the hammer in the background. No, I'm not doing that. You can hear the hammer in the background on my end. Again, with weird picks. What in the hell do we want out of here? Cole again, Forerunners? Yeah. That card's fine. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I thought I thought that was the uh, the Dash Lord guy. Nah. No, that's... Mm. Uh... It's still, like, okay. Like... Worst case, it's a 1-3, and usually it's going to be a 2-3 or better. As far as that mana cost, that's fine. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, Marsh Hulk is playable, and then that's about how you describe this pack, is playable. Yeah, and then we have, like, Mantuco Vigilante. It's like, uh... Yeah. Yeah. There's the Berserker Risk. Yeah, the Berserker is a cute card. <laughs> that huge man. <laughs> the huge man. Yo! Zergo? I don't want to pick up Zergo. I guess, well, I, no, I kind of understand what Zergo is doing here. Yeah. I, um... There's also Butcher's Glee and Coat and Venom if you want to be safer. Yeah. But Zergo. I, I like the... I think his cost is still fine and limited. He can't block creatures with two power or greater, which he doesn't feel like doing anyway. Um, yeah, this is a this is a guy who wants to attack. Yeah, you, can we get the full cycle of the five? All X cons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need. Uh, okay, uh, like Anafenza. Oh man, uh, Serac. Serac would be the best, I think. Uh, Narset, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I'd be okay picking up Narset. <laughs> Ah, see this last there is living with, lore with the clone legion. Ha. Uh, what's the actual thing here? Storm breach. Yeah, the brawler. Eh, why not? It's fine. It's suddenly, a bunch of dash dudes. You know, like it's that kinda... acid spear or dragon, and you know. he's very weak. I I hate. All those cards, they're all bad. I don't like I don't hate them all. I think I think as I've said, I actually like the white one a lot because lifelink matters. Yeah. Um, but Death Touch on a four four like doesn't mean anything, so why? <laughs> because that cycle already had a ton of words on it, so they didn't have room to give it a more relevant ability. Can we only have one creature? <laughs> Thanks to the power of Dash, I think we can. Oh my or God. Do, do we want to pick a good bear, a good piker, or an evolving wilds? I kind of think we want to pick like a good two drop. Which do you prefer? Skirmisher it is. Yeah. We're already the dash lord mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. So we, we should, I think we focus on the dash lord stuff. I, I like that well enough, yeah. I have a, I myself just really like ash hounds, but I realize that they bear is like better. I'm not going to keep pick a piker that well. <laughs> They're both warriors, so they don't have that. I also love uh, the Deadly Wanderings. Uh, Homicidal Seclusion was one of my favorite silly cards out of... was honestly one of the only cards I liked out of Everson Restored, so... It's um, a cute card. I like it a lot. Yeah, we need Goblin Heal Cutters and that Hill Giant that reduces dash. That's so exactly who we want. Coat with Venom oh. over a Reckless Imp? I'm yeah. fine with that. Yeah. Imp is really replaceable, and Coat with Venom is the best trick. That's it's the one thing. Of the better trick. It's like the second best trick in the entire format. I think it's and... the best trick in the entire format. One mana. Yeah, it's like either that or Sinner Soul. 
Well, I think Center Soul's not as good. Also, we get Reckless Imp in this pack, so... Hey! This is the <laughs> our open... This is our open pack, right? Yeah, this is our open pack. So we got... We wanted the Shambling Goblin or the Feckless Imp, and we got the Feckless Imp. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like the whole one mana, two mana difference, which is some years apart, but... Yeah. You also have different effects. This is one pack, and I'm already feeling like we got a sweet deck. I like it because both of our colors are really deep. Lose I'm okay calm. with a lose, lose calm. calm. Yes. Lose calm with a... We have the exploit, we have the lose calm. <laughs> That's a 9 mana turn I'm more happy with than Clone Legion. Well, this is a 7 mana turn with Minister of Pain. <laughs> okay. Which is realistic. More realistic. We're not. I don't want to Carsey say this crapping up our deck, though, for that. <laughs> No, no, no. Berserker! We okay. have taken the Berserker risk. Yes! All right. That's soon, by the they way. They were like the only guys who like this card. I don't get that. No, he's good. I think, I think the two toughness is what does him in in this format. <laughs> yeah, he dies to manifest, but then he's like a removal spell that pays one mana off, so that's like, okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I will never again die to the rock. Faltung Shriek has like considerations because it's a one mana trumpet blast. So you can dash a bunch of guys out and still have it up, but it's, it's so also underpowered. crappy. Yeah. There's a world of difference between one and two like damage for a creature. Mm -hmm. well, because one of them is doubling and then one of them is tripling the effect. Yeah. So the green got picked up. Ooh, all right. So Blessed Reincarnation is back around. More relevantly, uh, like an edict is around. Yeah, an edict. We have Storm Rider Rig, which we might actually want. Stormcrag Elemental is our token large creature. Stormcrag is pretty huge. Yeah. Is an edict good enough? Well, considering our removal is nothing, probably. I guess is would you rather have large creature over or dutiful attendant over? Well, I mean, edict? given that we have the edict, we can aggressively trade. Well, like we have minister of pain and defeat to take out the small things, and then mm -hmm. foul tongue invocation to. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot that we had defeat. Oh. Oh, we have defeat. It's true. Also, yeah, that is good. Dura that's pretty good duress art. It's like cool again, being really mad at some guy. I think that's Zergo. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You asshole! We have to shit on your character for some reason. Fuck red. <laughs> <laughs> you are both red and powerful. That cannot stand in the world of Magic the Gathering. Yo! I feel good about our color combinations. Oh Christ, do we have to pass up Twin we Bolt? We do have to pass up Twin Bolt, I'm afraid. The uh, Pitiless Horde! No! <laughs> Hello! I don't want to pass up Twin Bolt, but we're doing it because Pitiless Horde owes. Today we ride! No! <laughs> All of our cards are three mana. The, Pitil I, the Pitiless Horde has to have the, the guy in the back with the guitar rocking out. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the lightning's coming from. <laughs> yeah, the Horde is Pitiless because it's in the same pack as Twin Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> no pity. <sighs> I hate this. <laughs> I love, I love this. this. I mean, I like the cards, but I hate this. Mm. We're both stuck on a wheel. Somebody <laughs> oh else is red. I can't <laughs> believe that. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Yeah. We've never we've won drafts with a twin bolt before. We're never gonna play that card. That card's secretly bad. No, uh, no, we just have a pack that had a bunch of weak cards for us. Summit Prowler, maybe? Summit Prowler is a pretty good card. That's a okay trick. What, Kindled Fury? Yeah. <sighs> Looks so bad next to Coat with Venom. Yeah, it does. It does. Which we already have. Which we, are, which we already have. <laughs> it's an okay trick. I'm not going to get it good. It's no... Uh... 
Oh, jeez, what was that one from the Theros? Two target creatures get plus one plus one first oh, strike. Wow, that card is literally just an uh -oh, coordinated assault. Wow, yeah, Kindle Fury looks assault. like a pile of junk compared to that. Well, with Theros, <laughs> kind of went off the chain in both regards of creature curve and tricks. Yeah. Because they wanted you to play tricks, so they made them all really good. Coordinated like, freaking assault. And then it had Nessian ass. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm saying. They had creatures off the creature curve. Yo. I mean, we have a Tarkir freed, but it's... I just want to... That, that's the Berserker risk. Do we, want, <laughs> do we want the Berserker risk? What would you cost attacking creatures you control, gain double strike, attach creatures you control, attack each turn available? On a card. Mm. Like I bought that on a creature. That. Like a hill giant. Yeah. I'm sitting here We're thinking... Picking a the... Pick a Tarka free. But I want the risk. No, you want a Tarka free. You are going to deprive me of a Twin Bolt? I will be damned if you deprive, <laughs> if you deprive me of an Atarka. <laughs> I mean, that's going to make you pick Berserker's Onslaught, and I might leave if that happens. But... <laughs> nah, it's pick whatever card you feel like playing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the Afrit, and then we'll just get past another Berserker. Warbringer, yes! Yes! Thank God. Well, that happened. I think we actually have a deck now. Yeah, that that was a missing piece. Either that or the the palestrade. <laughs> and, and oh, and escape shaman. shaman. Ambuscade shaman. Which Pal may or may not be a real word. Ambuscade. Ambuscade. Totally a real word. <laughs> the warb. Warbs. Gotta gotta ring those warbs. Well, uh, highlight that card again. Like zoom up on Warbringer. Yep, yeah, Petra, I knew that, that was a Raymond Swallowed art. That's like the most that's like the most uh what word I'm thinking of? Suppressed. Mm. Mm. Yeah, subdued. Swan subdued, yes. Very subdued Raymond Swan one. Another summer prowler? Somebody's gonna have a pile of spell eaters. It's a good card. It's the second one. <laughs> Shaman who specializes in ambushes? I mean, look. You gotta have a specialty. Yeah, I don't know why it's a shaman who does that. And not a warrior or scout. Nope. Shaman. Or... Hmm. shaman. Yeah, he should definitely be a scout. Ooh. Hmm. Well, they didn't want him to be a warrior, probably, because, oh, he'd be too strong. Or... <laughs> right, with, like, Bloodshin Fanatic. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. It's like, like, no, we don't want this to be a tribal set. We have too many warrior tribe things. Well, this time okay. around, this isn't really... We could pick up a Sabertooth Outrider, though. Or a shambling goblin. There's that virulent plague that would have wiped us off the map, that other game. Yeah, if we needed something else to wipe us off the map. Is shambling There's... goblin worth it over, like, Outrider? Like, Outrider's, like, probably gonna have the, the thing on. I'm a bit worried about my low curve right now. Yeah, it might be worth picking shambling goblin just for that purpose. Just to have, like, a low a sort of low drop trade-off creature when maybe, you want to trade aggressively. Maybe I pick this and then I try to find that in pack three, like the Sultai Emissaries and such. Uh -huh. Or right now with what the hell? Okay, well, tail slash is the pick, I think. But and you're thinking about Cole again, Monument? yeah? Slash him with the Yeti tails. Yeah, and the, the we, we have... <laughs> the Atarka free tail. Yeah, what crap? <laughs> Do you realize my tail is lava? <laughs> or maybe the uh... Uh, the Berserker tail. The Berserker tail. <laughs> Also known as his, as his mace. <laughs> yeah, the tail. <laughs> I like the Yeti tail. God, I just... Alright, so... Stormrider rig. Whoa. You yeah. might actually, like, play that. Is that better than Duress? Well, Duress is like a fine sideboard card.
Nothing is ever going to be Trusty Machete again. No. Nothing is ever going to be Trusty Machete. Oh, no, definitely not. <sighs> I just it's have to... What zip itself to a creature when I come in. Your mantra. That's like... I have, I have to remember my mantra. Oh! That's a, that's a car we Falter, eh? <laughs> How about Falter? Somebody said that we might get the Twin Bolt back out of this pack, but we did get the Falter back out of this pack. We no, but whoever said that was was lying, and they know that they were just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Can you fault them? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With our falter, that's how I'll fault them. <laughs> Half of a coordinated assault, an uncoordinated assault. I think that's better than <laughs> second lose calm. Like we have, we have lose calm and magmatic chasm, which are both like the aha cards. Uh, yeah, I'm still know what's here. happening. I can hear you. Oh, good lord! Well, this is something. At least I should be back fairly quickly. I'm back. Hey. Okay.